Matthew 22 verse 4 said, many are called, but few are chosen. And our topic today is connectivity through selectivity. Connectivity through selectivity. If God will connect you, he will select those that must be with you. Those that will work with you. It is powerful to have many, but it is profitable to flow with a few. I am. It is powerful to have many people around you, but it is profitable to flow with a few persons. God will bless with many people. Yes, in this church, God will bless us with many people. I am. By virtue, the seats that are taken here, we have almost half to be filled up. Short time from now, here will be filled up. Here will be many. But I will have to decisively pray to God. God, show me that few that I will work with. Are you hearing me? Don't misquote me. Every one of them, everyone that comes spiritually, you are my child, you are my son. I uphold you with prayers I pray for you. But there are few persons that I can work closely with. And it takes prayer for me to select that. If I don't pray, I will select that few. You know I will crush. I will crash. God forbid in the name of Jesus. So that is why you need a few in your life. The world is many your family. Many people around you, you need a few in your business to work with. Well, by the time we run out this message, you know why. The aim of every great man is to build a profitable many with a chosen few and not to destroy a chosen few with a useless many. The aim of every great man is to build a profitable many with a chosen few and not to destroy a chosen few with a useless many. Many are called, few are chosen. We are going there. Numbers are good, but quality is better. Quantity is good, but quality is better. I want plenty of people PGC, but God, please give me plenty of people that I can take to heaven. Quantity and quality. To reach your goal in life, you must be selective about the people you want to grow with. To reach your goal in life, you must be selective about the people that you want to grow with. Jesus did not go to the high mountains with all his disciples. Let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter 17, verse 1 to 3. I can never teach what is not in the Bible. I can never teach what I have not read my master Jesus do. So let's see Matthew chapter 17, from verse 1 to 3. 17, 1 to 3 says, After six days, Jesus taketh Peter, who? Peter, James, and John, his brother, and bringeth them up into a high mountain, apart, and was transfigured before them, and his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment, raiment was white as the light, and behold, there appeared unto Moses, and there appeared unto them Moses and Elijah, talking with them. Verse 1 says, and after six days, Jesus took his twelve disciples, no, he did not take his twelve disciples, he took Peter, James, why did you be that? He, he, they are his disciples. I don't be, pay very, very cautious attention. Jesus chose 12 disciples to work with him, right? Why did he, when he wanted to go to pray, at the top of the mountain, at the highest part of the mountain, he took only Peter, James, and John. Why not go with his 12 disciples? Did he hate the remaining nine? He does not hate them. Connectivity through selectivity. He wanted to go and connect with his father. He wanted to go and connect with the spirit of Elijah and Moses. He needed people that understand him very much. Do you understand me? In your business, in the office where you work, it is not everybody you can discuss things with. You can discuss politics, family, business. No, you can discuss politics, society, but when it comes to family and personal business, you have some few persons in your office you discuss that with. It's connectivity, true selectivity. Jesus! God himself, he was not able to go with the 12 disciples to the top of the mountains. 
In our teaching today, the top of the mountain symbolizes the top of your career. The topmost part of your career. For you to be able to get to the top of your career, my dear, you need your Peter, James, and John on the 12th. Yes, you will have your 12th disciples, but you need your Peter, James, and John. They are your inner cycle. High mountains represent the peak of your career. In business, in ministry or relationship. Every man of goal and vision attracts many people, but only those selective are bad people. They bring close, stay connected to their goals. A man of vision attracts people. You wonder why great men of God have great followers following them. Great pastors mentioned that they have people following them. You wonder why? Yes, it's natural. It's a natural phenomenon. Sugar attracts ants. For once you carry something, People are attracted to you. Are you hearing me? Every man who knows where he's going to, every woman who knows what they want in life, a man of vision, a man of gold, attract people. If you are a man of vision, you see people always jumping towards you. Me, myself speaking, from childhood, I have been able to notice that people always run towards me. I attract people, but not every one of them I can take to my home. Are you understanding the teaching? Not every one of them I can take to my house. Not every one of them I can take to the place I stay, the place I sleep. Because I want to be able to remain connected. Do you understand me? I'm not saying that because you have not known my house, that does not mean that I have not brought you to my house. One day I will take you to my house, eh? When I cook good food, my, my wife will cook delicious food and bring you. Like, I'm not saying because I have not brought you to my house, it means I don't want to connect with you. I want to connect with everybody. Don't misunderstand. The teaching, the teaching, I'm trying to play a scenario. God has given you a vision. It's not everybody you discuss it with. Imagine if I told somebody I want to start church. They come because somebody of my age, and I want to start, they will look at me and say, You, how much do you have to rent place? To no, no, I did not discuss with the mother being. The only thing everybody here saw was we have rented a place. This is a, a flyer for inauguration. Please come. All the planning was done with my best friends, the Holy Spirit and my wife. They are my best friends. We finished it before even telling our Father in the Lord. We finished it before telling them. Who is the person you are bringing close to you? Who is the person you are bringing? Are you selective about the people that you are bringing close? You cannot be able to connect without selecting. If Jesus was not selective about those he brought to the high mountains, he would not have been able to connect with the spirit of Moses and Elijah. Imagine if he took other persons that the spirit in him did not lead him to take. He would be there praying. He would be shouting, doing something that are not called for. Matthew chapter 17 verse 1, from the place we read, 1 to 3. It is a record that Jesus communed with the spirit of Moses. And spirit of Elijah, because he selected a few, he went up there with. God has given every man of vision his 12 apostles. Yours may be higher in number, yours may be lower in number, but it is left for you to prayerfully select your Peter, James, and John. Your connectivity relies on your selectivity. In your calling, in your business, in your career, in your life, in this ministry, God has given us a 12 apostles. Everything you do in life, there is a 12 apostles that God has given to you. Everything around you is made up of your 12 apostles. You have your 12 disciples around you. With that, you see them being revealed. In your family, you have your 12 disciples. In your business, you have your 12 disciples. Very soon, they may be higher in number, they may be lower in number, but Lyrica, uh, 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 because of English, I will use the name 12 disciples because of Jesus himself had his own 12. But in that 12, you need your own three. Who are your inner cycle? It is not everybody you discuss with, my dear beloved person. It is not everybody you tell your secrets. Uh, when this person calls, you tell him this happened, this did not happen. Most of them are coming to hear to mock at you. You begin to ask yourself, why did this person get to hear this? Why did this person get to hear this? Why did you get to tell it to the person that's not your inner cycle? 
Why did this delay in the office? Why did this pay delay in the office? Why did this promotion delay? Who do we are you discussing with in the office? He might be the closest person to your empty. You don't know. It's coming to in workplaces these days, what people do is to look for information they can send to their empty, their boss, to buy people from them. They are not mindful of stepping on you, mindful of standing on your head to, to shine. Are you hearing me? Ah, how was today? How are you seeing this world? How are you seeing the way MD is doing us? Now, God will punish Satan if he's taking this MD's end. It's the most wicked man on earth. And you are saying it's laughing though, as just you think you are telling your friend. He goes, MD, do you know this person you are trusting so much? He says you are one of the most wicked person. Please, don't tell him more. It's me that said it to you. Why will you tell him not tell him you are the one that said it? And tomorrow, MD comes. MD used to give you money. He no longer gives you money. MD comes. MD used to greet you when he enters. He used to answer you with a smile. He no longer answers you. You now begin to tell pastor to pray. Pastor, 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 pray. Your enemy has started. Who is the enemy? You are the one. Who is in your cycle? Who is your inner cycle? Who is your three? Choose your three very well. Pray and fully. Are you hearing me? A man of vision is always attracting crowd. A young, it doesn't mean that you must be grown for you to have crowd. As a young girl, as a young boy, you can have people always running after you. People always, even as people keep on running after you, my dear beloved ones, always in that many. There are some discussions we discuss. Ha! Ah, school today was fun. Life today was fun. Do you see that makeup he made? It was fun. Do you see this thing I saw in Facebook? It was fun. When one of you leaves, you know, if it's something that has to do with your life, when the ones that are known as the two leaves, your three, your inner cycle, it is then you can discuss. Do you know my dad this? Do you know my mom this? Do you know my sister this? Let's pray about it. But if you see it in the outer part, they may carry your name and spot you. Are you hearing me? It is not everything you say in the school where you are. It is not everything everyone you relate to in the school where you are. You must relate with people. Socialize. Socialize. But there are what we call communion of the Holy Spirit. When you commune with the Holy Spirit, it even tells people you can talk to and people you cannot talk to. Are you hearing me? In the yard where you stay, in the house where you live, it is not everybody you stay, tell every. When it comes to social discussion, socialize. But when it comes to your personal life, your spirit man, that thing that makes you who you are, only discuss it with people who understand who you are and who are able to be like it. Are you hearing me? In the business God has given to you, in the work God has given to you, you are passing through something. Don't tell it to everybody. They will not help you. It's only God that can help you. Are you hearing me? Ah! Hello, how are you? It's not fine, no. It's not fine, no. These days, he will not help you, I'm telling you. Many people these days beg on social media. I used to see so many messages. You send social message, I'm not eating this, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that. Please help me, this is my account number. I will not still send. So why tell me all your problems? Until God leads me, I know how genuine you are. If I have, I give. If I don't have, I pray for you. I have Jesus' name. Amen. So what they are saying in essence is not everybody you go to meet with your problem. Ah, do you know this? Do you know that? Do you know this one? Do you know this one? After that, they will keep on listening, you know, they will not stop you. After everything, you tell them everything. You say, I wish I had. And you leave. You think you have gone. But the next day you will be passing. The person may be staying with his wife. The person may be staying with his wife. He says, you have about it and beg. You have belittled yourself. Are you hearing me? There are things that Jesus Christ saw. He will tell the people around him, say, this one, do not tell anybody. Are you hearing me? Jesus will tell them, this one that I saw, don't tell anybody. The place we read, 17 chapter, Matthew chapter 17, 1 to 3. Look at what verse 4 says. Then answered Peter and said unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to, to be here. If thou wilt, let us make here three tabernacles, one for thee and one for Moses and one for Elijah. Why he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold a voice of, a voice out of the cloud, which said, this is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. 
God was able to speak because of the right people around Jesus. Peter, James, and John. Who is your Peter? Who is your James? Who is your John? Wherever you are, wherever you find your place, in the society, in the church, in the house, even in the church, you have your Peter, James, and John. All of us here are members, or you have a prayer partner. You have somebody you can call and say, let's join faith in prayer. That is the kind of church we want to build. Have a prayer partner. Have a friend in church that you can call and say, well, let's pray about this. Join me in prayer about this. You pray about it. When they say testimony time, you come and testify. I pray with my prayer partner in church and God did this. Pastor will be happy that people are growing in the strength of God. Have your inner cycle. Your connectivity relies in your selectivity. How to know your inner cycle? How then should I know that people that God is connecting me to? How then do I know my Peter, my James, and John in the business that I will walk into? The place that God will give you as a, as, as, as a place to walk. As I'm speaking, God is telling me to tell someone, I don't know who that person is. You are looking at it that is a very small business. They are belittling it. God says you go into okay business. Okay. You know okay. Okay business like Jimmy, Polo, and all the rest. I don't know who the person is. I don't know. You have thought, for you to know yourself, you have thought about it. What kind of business should I do? God said go into okay. Like you want the one year and you will have your boutique. Many boutiques you see around that they started selling for us. I know what. Ah, sir, I have clothes. Should I pray for you to select? Select the whole. Ah, so I have clothes. One friend introduce it to another friend. So this business you are doing, don't you think you should have a shop? Take hey, rent a shop. We have a boutique. Testimony stories are like that. Are you hearing me? Stories are like that. I will say it again. God is telling somebody you are going to book a business. You don't need to rent a shop. You need somebody to say, please, can I stay in front of the show? Can I stay by this corner and do this? I am telling you the truth. I like you understand the order of the Holy Ghost. If you don't come back in one year to testify on this order that God spoke the word, I ran with it and today I have a booty. Somebody will come and go back to the you and the same person will be the one to pay for it. God said, somebody go into okay business. People, you know people wear clothes every day. And people are looking for cheap clothes to wear. Are you hearing me? Do you know this white I'm wearing inside here? There is one of 20,000. Do you know there is one of 15,000? You know there is one of 1.5? You know there is one of 1 million? Shirt, I'm not going to be shirt of 1 million, you know? Go abroad now. Go push it. Go and ask. You know there is a shirt of 2.5? But all of them are white, true or false? White. People they have the adjustments to pay my place. He sold 100 and I do 150. Some people will use one that is 20,000, 30,000 because that is their level. But two of them is not sweat they are cleaning. Go into okay business. I don't know who you are. God is moving in the dimension. Today is like a prophetic service. Go into okay business. I don't know who that person is. For you to know yourself, you have thought about it. Say, God, what, which business can I even start with 10,000? Which business can I even start with 15,000? Which business can I even start with 20,000? God, just tell me. God said, go into okay business. Buy JMLJ, Polo. Start selling. Sell. Come on somewhere. If you buy it 500, if you have transfer, go to about today. Buy it a G 500 and come here and sell it 700 or 800. Don't you have 300 naira a day? Is it not better than going to bank? And it is not always what you do. It is not always by what is coming in that builds your business. Sometimes God sends favor. Somebody will come one day. You say this one is two thousand. The person will not price. Ah, I've been looking for this particular. Chip. And you bought it five hundred. This is pure gospel center. A place of truth, solution. And perfection. I tell you the truth the way it is. Why we are waiting for rain of heaven, rain of dollar to fall? My brother starts something. Wherever you are, I am hammering again. In one year time, 
you will come back and say, Pastor, do you remember one day you were preaching that God is a record? And you said, God is saying somebody should go into open business. When I left, I started it. Somebody came to buy something, you know, CBO. And the person said, He wants to give on me. Now I have a shop. It happens like that. You think, oh, you think this place we are? You think it's a, you think a, we have forever? We have Somebody will just walk past and enter. Do you see how the great man of God walked in? He said he entered. And he did not plan that pastor will bring him on the altar to pray. You understand? That's the way God was. In mysterious way. That's how somebody will walk and pass. Young man, I've been seeing your face on this people. God said we should take it to another day. It will happen. Young man, I've been hearing your message. Please send us your church account number. That is how it happens. I've been seeing you selling here always. I've been seeing you selling here. God just told me, take this. It happens. I was passing here one day. One man that used to pack the thing with truck. In the night, close to the market. He was not counting 100, 100 naira, 50, 50 naira. As I just passed. I looked at the young man. Let me not go out with money in my pocket. I will not come back with it. I've developed this, a strategy of sometimes giving my wife money to hold for me. I will finish it. I can give you. I will just pass it. The man was back, counting 50 50. I just imagine if it was me that late night, finish carrying 30, carrying counting 50 50. I thought, and I look at you, know, one day you'll be counting thousands. I smiled. I removed all the money in my hand. I gave to you. I just can't get here. It's the first time I'm saying about it. I didn't tell everybody. And I said, let me pray for you. Lead you, in Christ. Lead you to Christ. I prayed for the young man and I left. As I was going, I didn't even give him. I said, please give me your number. He took my number. I don't want that he will call me. He was carrying dirty in the truck. That is how I'm trying to tell you how God favor people. That day, he was carrying dirty. And rain fell. Rain would have even made him not to go and carry dirty. But the money I gave him was more than what they paid him to carry dirty. In this fact, I just remember it on his cross. I was going to see one of my father in the Lord and there. Young man, he was just nothing. He was just feeling so tired, depressed. 15 era, 15 era, 15 era. He was sitting on the truck. Just passed, entered that street. Something dragged me back. I went back. I said, Young man, do you know one day you'll be planting one thousand? He didn't even answer me. I said, One day you'll be planting one thousand. I know what I'm saying. He just smiled and I put my hand on my pocket. Bring all the money, both my transport and gave I said, can I pray for you? I pray for you. He said, sir, can I have your number? If God is telling me, I'm still hammering with again. Somebody is asking God, what do you want me to do? God said, go into okay business. You need that business, God, people will favor you. I've dwelt along in that. If it's you, God will do great things as you start it in the name of Jesus. One day that you come now, that's why I'm very soon to that I brought you one gym from my okay business. Put that behind you to hear it. It's true me that I got confessed. I wear it very well. <laughs> That's on the lighter note. How to select your inner cycle? Number one, prayerfully. You have to do it prayerfully. You know, I'm always praying God to give me my inner cycle. God, give me my Peter, James, and John. I'm praying God, bring them. Wherever they are, pull them. Wherever they are, bring them. Wherever they are, whatever they are doing. There are people called destined to for us who some may be in another church now as we are talking. Some may be in the house sleeping as we are talking. But God will bring them. God will do what? He will bring them. All of our children who wrote to IFT, and none of them had, they didn't carry over anyone. Is that not a testimony? Uh, I know three or four persons are across here that wrote why God helped them. If God is helping us, testimony is coming left, right, center, and you think you're going to business and say, you won't start small. I used to tell you, it's only grave that starts from up. The deep grave from up to down starts from small. 10,000 is too big for you to start with. 5,000, get something, start. I don't know who God is speaking. Enough is enough relying on the government. Enough is enough relying on one empty or the other. Enough is enough. It is time for you to stand and create your own world. You start from this money, you know, this is what I sow, this is my money, this is what I'm saving, this is the bike I'm giving God. You save this, you go out to market again, you come back, you plan your life, plan your life, plan your life, prayerfully. As you are planning your life, one day, God will say, This my son is too faithful. I've tried him in the day to his life to commit the pain in his hand. We keep praying for church, God to bring people here, right? We think they are not coming, they are coming. God is trying with this one. 
is want to see how I can handle. God does not, God does not waste. Do I hear me? God does not waste. He's trying to see how I can handle this thing as the only. There will be a level, you know, we are not like this in number. Our son is used to the three four. At the point we'll pass three four. At the point we are in this number, God is we still trying with this faith. He will see how we handle this thing. You people are precious in God's hands. Very precious. I dare not do with anybody here. That's why no matter how tired I am, I wake up in the night to pray for and pray for God. Pray for my family, pray for church, and pray for these members. Every night I do it. So God is seeing how we how do this one. Okay, they will discuss. He has passed 10. Let's give him 20 and watch him again. He gives me 20. He has passed 20. Let's give him 50 and try him again. He has passed 50. Let's give him 100. It's like that. That's how life is. I know it. Step by step. Even you that are telling go to business, if you start, one day you go out, only one person will buy. Another day, two person. One day you have one permanent customer that will be even be brilliant people. But imagine if you did not start. Imagine if I did not start. Is the message blessing somebody? Yes. Number two. Ah, number one, prayerfully. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. That's when everything you do, do it with prayer. Number two. Do they agree with your vision? That's the question you ask yourself to select your inner cycle. Do they agree with your vision? You want to select your inner cycle. The guy from the recorder. The next thing you ask yourself, do they agree with your vision? The vision God has given you, do they agree with it? God is telling me there's somebody here in your cycle, family or family cycle, you keep telling things, you should stop it. Whenever you go, you tell them everything that happened in the city, stop it. They be smiling, smiling, she be listening to you, but you should stop it. Not everybody you discuss with when you get to the villa. I call it the villa. I go to village I celebrate. I go to village, but I go when people come back. Christmas, they will go to their as they are coming back, that's me I'm getting my own. I'm very careful. God has called you. He gave you the power about the wise. I am not everybody is what is, is uh, happy. Where you will, you know, there is something called familiar spirit. People don't go to shrine to practice. People don't go to shrine to practice a uh, witch again. Let me tell you something. If somebody comes and looks at you and says it will not be well with you and lives, do you know that person has done which witchcraft practice on your life? They have sent a familiar spirit. When somebody says it will not be well with you, and the person has sent a familiar spirit to you and the person lives. Until you counter that word, that's why I always live a prayerful life. Mind the people you talk with in the village, mind the people, oh, look at them. He has gone, he has gone. Look at him, look at his children, look at what he did. But, he not be right with himself. That normal word, just it's normal, casual word, they spoke. It's witchcraft they are practicing. You know why? Words are power. Have I have we learned about words here? Yeah? That I said words are seed. That when once we say them, angels carry them. When once we speak, angels carry them. When I say something, you know that in the interpret it. You are, you are being interpreted to, it's being interpreted to your mind. Now, no, no, I don't need to embarrass you. Please stand up. No more, sit down. Now, do you, is it, did I use my hand to pull him up? I use my words, right? And he listened to me. They don't need, sometimes they don't need to go to shrine again to undo people. Just cause words of the mouth. They don't look at you, see? Another person's child will cause, but you want your own to go away. You can't their own. Do they agree with you? The people you are discussing with you are talking about number two, how to choose your inner cycle. Do they agree with you? Do they agree with your sources? Do they agree with the vision God has given to you? Do they agree with the level you want to climb? I told you I never told anybody of this ministry until the day we rented fly and rented this place. That time is too late for anybody to stop me. Tell them when it's too late. That time I've wasted, I've not wasted, I've spent money to rent this place and I cannot go and tell landlord to give me back my money. So if you come to tell me that I can't succeed, you come to tell me the business will not go back. 
have passed that level, I cannot go and take the money back. It's either I start the ministry by force or the rent will waste. Tell them when it's too late. I want to marry you. My marriage is here. I have seen a young player that is too early. Don't tell them. You are your wife. Keep on doing what you are doing. When they come to my brothers, sometimes, times ago, they will be asking me, Mark Miracle, when will you marry? Mark Miracle, when will you marry? When they're asking when will I marry, I've already fixed my date, fixed everything. When they happen to know by the time our picture started displaying on the screen. I will tell you, I know people, even when my picture started displaying on the screen, even Satan tried to, but I can't count him. The devil does not like good news, though. He said he came to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Last Friday, I told you that. Last Wednesday, when we were praying, and the Holy Spirit revealed to me, he said, God loaded us with daily benefits. Which means any day you don't have a benefit, somebody stole it. When you are praying, you know how to demand. God said something. I daily loaded them. I give them the daily benefit. Daily, you did not say weekly. You know, sometimes you have testimony once in a week, somebody favor you once in a week. Sometimes you just have healing once in a week. But God said it's daily. Every day, you are supposed to have something that will make you happy. So any day you don't have it, somebody stole it. Who is the person? Devil point to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So you don't have to counter him. Counter him. You will not, from today, you will enjoy it daily in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number three, overlook their weakness and focus on their strength. How to choose your inner cycle? One, you prayerfully choose them. Two, ask yourself if they agree. You want to go into business and I tell you something, tell you, they agree with that idea. If they agree with your idea. If they don't, give them. Number three is overlook their weakness and focus on their strength. One of the greatest mistakes some great people do is to focus on the weakness of their servants and their followers and overlook their strength. That is why most of their servants and their followers, they keep on avoiding and leaving them. You don't look at your servant's weakness. You don't look at their weakness. Pray for their weakness. Don't bring their weakness to the open. Look at for their strength. When the soldiers came to arrest Jesus Christ, who caught one of the soldiers there? Was it not Peter? Was Peter one of the best Jesus carried to the mountain? Peter was hot tempered. When you study the book of John chapter 18 verse 10, Matthew chapter 16 verse 22, Mark chapter 14 verse 72, and Matthew chapter 16 verse 18, you see that Peter was hot tempered. Number one, he denied Christ. The same Peter that is in this inner cycle. He denied Christ. Number two, he, he rebuked Christ. When Jesus said, I will die, but this temple will be broken and I will die, I will be crucified. Who rebuked Jesus? It's Peter. That rebuke means he shunned him. He told him, Sir, come, come, come. Are you mad? If that is in our local language, that is what Peter did to Jesus. He carried him for that. He said, You will die with him. They mad. This joy. Why would they follow you? You bring food. 5,000 people. You feed 5,000 people. You send me. Yeah, I put your hand inside sh uh, fish mouth and bring money. I put hand inside fish and bring money. You tell us, turn this water into one. What I will turn into one. You walk on, this, on, the, on, the, on the water. Ah, people are following us. We are popularity. We are celebrity. People, they follow us. As they see you, they see me. Peter, I'm following you. They are telling me you will die. I will not enjoy this. Are you mad? He repeats Jesus. That is the same Jesus that is in this inner cycle. Jesus overlooked his weakness that he can easily get angry. Peter can get angry. You can study about Peter. He's a hot tempered human being. Hot tempered. Soldiers get to arrest Jesus. He never think twice. They never talk to him. They never talk to him. Peter bring that match. Yeah, one year for granted. Peter is one them, but yet he said, at Peter Bajola, upon this rock, I will kill my church, and the gate of hell shall not prevail. Young man, you can call me that I am quick to anger. Young man, you can call me that I hate 
young man, you can call me that I'm not righteous. You can say that I'm not perfect. You can say that I quarrel a lot. You can say that I hate. You can say that I'm, in fact, I am not a woman. That's for you. God loves me. He's using me. Set that you will say, ah, let's see how you will succeed. Set that you will say, ah, you are not perfect in your ways. You are pointing to God. This young man is not perfect. You are on your own. I have never carried knife to call somebody's here like Peter. Peter, God use Peter. Talk more of me. I have not carried knife. The only thing I have not carried knife is to God. You can say I quarrel, I quarrel you. Sorry if I quarrel you. God is still use me. Passion. I don't know man. Are you hearing me? God overlooks your weakness. So any man that looks at your weakness is not from God. See, when we were sinful, he came to die for us. He did not come to die for us when we have repented. When we were sinful, Jesus came to die for us. Then who is man to come and judge you? Nobody. Say nobody can judge you. Say nobody can judge me. Somebody go to the book of Galatians. Let me show you something. Galatians chapter 5 verse 10. This is aside the message. Let me give you a remark. Galatians chapter 5 verse 10. If you see it, read for us. Okay, I'm there listening. Galatians chapter 5 verse 10 says, I have confidence in you through the Lord that you will be non otherwise minded, but he that troubles you shall bear his judgment. Whosoever it be. Say, who troubles you will bear his own judgment? Who do they judge? You judge somebody that is sinful shame. So for somebody to trouble you, it means that that person have a sin too that God should judge him for. He's not perfect. People came to stone the hallows. What did Jesus ask them? Let the man that does not have the sin cast the first stone. That is when the men knew that they were the one patronizing the woman. They dropped the stone and left. Nobody is permitted to judge you but God and you. You are the only one that can judge yourself. So if anyone comes, want to judge your family, want to judge your life, with their words or with their evil prayers or with their evil incantation, I decree God will remember their own mistakes and judge them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Since they think they are perfect, let God remember their iniquity and judge them in the name of Jesus. Amen. The next thing you should do when you are selecting your few to bring balance in the area where you are weak. Do they bring balance in the area where you are weak? Do they bring balance? Who understands this? For instance, you are strong in singing, or you need somebody to be supporting you in prayer, so you have a friend that is prayerful. Do you understand me? My wife is not outgoing. She's not a social type. No matter anyhow, we want her to go out, make friends, she's not that type. She even hardly says anything. She even hardly talks. So I am a support and I'm a balance to her. I speak on behalf of her. Sometimes, okay, let me use a normal example, a scenario. She will finish making a very beautiful clothes. I say, but well, this clothes is fine now. Advertise it now so that people will see your work. For where she said I will do it. She will forget. She said I will do it again. I will not carry her phone and post the beautiful clothes she made. I will put it right up. Sometimes she will do. But most of the times I'm the one posting to her. Am I supporting her? That is her weakness. She does not like it. But I'm supporting her. Do you understand? There is a part in my life too that I am a hot, hot person, very hot one. I'm like Peter, but well, God is using us my God's grace. There is something that will, be hap- that will happen now. I know that if I talk, I will first of all make you, if, if for instance somebody came to look for trouble, you came to trouble somebody, or maybe I hear you came to trouble someone in my family or something. If I come, I will first bring three trouble on top of your head. Then you will be settling your own, I will be settling my own. They are when I said to finish, when I reconcile. So, what I do these days is, I am not a man of God. I know how to handle my temper. When that thing comes, I will send my wife. Go on. So when something comes up like that, my wife, is, my mom, instead of she, she calling me, she will not call my wife. My wife will not look at me. When I'm gone, she will not talk to me. 
And when she's telling me the thing has already calmed down, so I won't be that whatever. Is she supporting me in my area of weakness? Nobody is completely perfect. We are men of God, not God of man. I have my weakness, you have your weakness. But that place, and I say, this is my weakness, and I, and I keep on proving, I will do it, I will do it, I will, do it. I will crash. You understand me? I cannot come here in the morning and pray, sing, preach, do this one. I need people who can also support it. That's why I keep on encouraging you. Join this group, join that group. Are you understanding what I'm teaching? Now, when you are choosing your friends, what are we teaching? Connectivity through selectivity. When you are want to be have friends in your business, want to have friends in your career, anything you are doing, my dear, you need to prayerfully select the people. What did I say is the best thing you will do? Select what? Prayerfully. Hmm? Number two, what did I say? They agree with your vision. agree with your vision? That person you are calling your friend, does he agree with your vision? Then number three, 